Hi, New City Youth Parents. Uh, Chad Brooks here. Uh, we kind of figured this year, since we just had our ministry meeting, maybe we would do a pre-recorded uh, video of a parent meeting, kind of share with you some information uh, about the fall. And then if you have any questions, you can feel free to email uh, me or Katie uh, or call us or text us or whatever uh, you'd like to do to, to get any more information that you might need um, about the fall semester. So first of all, thanks for entrusting your, your uh, youth to us. Uh, it's a pleasure to serve and um, serve alongside our youth leaders and work with your with your team. So uh, thank you for entrusting them to us. Um, we had a great summer. Um, God really worked through uh, the ministry this summer, totally changed our plans. Uh, we were supposed to go up to Lake Ann Camp in northern Michigan. Uh, that was closed down, so we pivoted, changed to a trip to Branson, and God really worked through that. Uh, that was a great time of sharing of testimonies and God working through those testimonies. Uh, we had uh, a youth get saved through that uh, um, through that retreat, we had a couple of youth get baptized this summer. So God's doing a work, and we're just grateful to be a part of um, a part of what's going on there. And excited to have your youth with us in the program as well. So, uh, great summer, launching into hopefully a, a fabulous fall. Um, just want to share some things with you as we get started. So first of all, we we communicate with our youth and our parents uh, through the Band app. I know probably most, if not all, of you are on there already. Um, if you're not on the Band app, uh, or your youth's not on the Band app please email her, uh, me or Katie. It's chadbrooks22 at gmail.com or katierbrooks at yahoo.com. And uh, we'll share with you the join link and get you ready to go um, with that. But that is how we communicate with, with all parties involved. Uh, we don't do that and email. It's really just the band app. So please join that so you know what's going on with youth. All right. Uh, so youth group, our fall weekly meeting will start here soon. Uh, Wednesday, September 16th will be our first meeting. It's at ACA as it was last year. Uh, and we run from 630 until 8 o'clock. Um, our, our format will be pretty similar to what it was last year. We'll start with a game or an activity. Um, then we'll move to worship time. Our worship time is really needed student led. Uh, the youth that have been blessed with the gift of uh, leadership and music really just just guide us in worship and get our hearts prepared to uh, come to the next part, which is the lesson and the digging into God's word, um, trying to see what God has for us uh, in scripture. Uh, that's some, some teaching time. It's also some discussion time amongst uh, the group. And then after that, we break into small groups as well for some further discussion and application. So it's similar, similar format to what we've done in past years. Um, but there will be some additional uh, safety precautions that we wanted to address. We brought them up in the ministry meeting, so most of you know these already. Um, but please make sure that if your youth not watching this video with you, that they know these things as well. So there's three main things we're going to do in terms of safety protocol to make sure we're being wise and safe uh, here this fall. First one would be uh, game time. We're going to be intentional about doing our best to choose games that are non-contact. Uh, try to keep some space between the kids and, and not allow... Uh, the virus to spread. So uh, non-contact games, if at all possible. Uh, secondly, during our worship time, um, because we will be singing to the Lord, we, we are projecting more than usual. So masks will be required during the worship time. Uh, other times the, the, the evening, uh, masks will be optional. You are definitely allowed to wear those. Uh, leaders are definitely allowed to wear those. Um, but during the worship time, we're all going to wear those so that we are not um, projecting and spreading um, spreading the virus potentially. Uh, that was our second one. That is a change, so please make sure you bring a mask with them uh, each week. Uh, and thirdly, we will social distance as much as possible. Um, I know with youth that can be hard. We we want to be close, and I get that. We'll, we'll try to keep our distance as best as possible. It'll probably cause us to rethink our seating arrangement during our worship and lesson time um, to, I'd say, maybe a less desirable seating arrangement, but we want to make sure we're being as safe as possible so we can continue to do youth group on a week-to-week -week basis. So those will be the three main things. Um, games, non-contact, masks will be required during worship time, and social distance as much as possible. Um, our fall calendar will be coming out in the next week or so here. We've got it pretty much ready to go. We're just kind of finalizing a couple dates, making some, some final adjustments. Uh, but be watching band for those special events. Uh, special events, our, our aim is to have about one of those per month in addition to the, the Wednesday night. So uh, we're going to start to have a couple more junior high separate and senior high separate activities as we're growing. It's going to allow for more of that. Um, some will be combined, some will be separate, 
uh, the calendar will show which is which. When you get that calendar, please make sure you put that information on your own personal calendar so that you can prioritize being at those special events. We want to make sure we include anybody that wants to be a part of that. Those special events are a great time to build connections, build relationships, uh, to allow us to have those spiritual conversations um, and, and push each other and challenge each other, hold each other accountable as well. So please prioritize those. We look forward to the fall. Please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, my number is 515-782-5629. If you want to call or text or chadbrooks22 at gmail.com. Katie is 515-771-7519 or katierbrooks at yahoo.com if you prefer to email. Thanks again. Oh, I should mention who our youth leader team is because we work with a great team. Um, it's me and Katie and Ryan and Katie Ong and Jeff and Rosina Colton and Jordan Edmondson. And we also have uh, Kara Gorham that's going to be working with us this year as well. Uh, she graduated this past year. She got saved last fall, has been growing in her spiritual walk. We're excited to have her coming back to work with our junior high girls um, as well. So it's a great team. We're excited to work with the youth. Thanks again. Please let us know if you have any questions.